Another AMA has come and gone with Forex Shark, the lead creator behind both the Drip Network and the Animal Farm. And thanks to Crypto Wonder Queen, also known as Wonder Woman, or over on Telegram, Crypto WB 2021. She has compiled a set of notes highlighting from this last AMA. So big shout outs to her for putting that together. And with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. Animal Farm updates. Let's start there. Full automation of the pig pen injection confirmed by Forex. This is what we earn from staking liquidity parrots on PancakeSwap automated on Tuesdays. And there is what is the subsidized injection from Forex. This is from our previous version one earnings to stabilize the pig's pen and dog pound until the new products released, bring in more animal farm revenues. The way it works, we loan the LP tokens on the animal farm to PancakeSwap they generate cake as rewards. We send the cake to the management contract. It then decides when to sell the cake for BUSD throughout the day. Then, once a week has passed, the BUSD, BUSD is injected into the pig's pen and dog pound automatically via the contract. And you can see all this on the blockchain. Forex will then decide what subsidized injection is needed and manually inject it from the version one animal farm earned funds. Scratchy. Devs now working on testing, auditing contracts, etc. Multiple pages we need. It will have multiple pages, landing page, media, and onboarding pages. He is planning on this coming out in late April. Dogs Roulette. The name is to be discussed. Coming soon, and this will help feed the Animal Farm Rewards Vault. You can buy in with AFD. One AFD equals one credit or use BUSD to get credits in bulk. The BUSD will be used to buy AFD to use for the game rewards. When BUSD is used, 5% will be used for Oracle, platform, and marketing fees. The UI is done. Contracts had slight errors being adjusted. He is looking at early March for launch and wants to do promo on this game. Then there was Q&A. Partnerships, what happened? We constantly get partnership offers. Forex refuses to partner with short-term hype projects and looks for quality projects that will benefit our ecosystem. Scratchy will provide the whitelisting and partnership vaults we need for farm revenue. He does have interviews with potential partnerships he likes all the time. A few are lined up for when Scratchy gets released, such as PancakeSwap. Single Asset Lending at first, it was going to be lending to one bridge. It has evolved now into aggregating between three bridges, multi-swap, seller bridge, and Stargate. We expect to earn 15 to 20% more for the single assets on the farm, and this will be compounded into your stake. We are just getting started. This farm will benefit long-term holders, think multi-year. They will benefit the most. What about Drip Garden slash Piggy Bank? They are high risk games. Think Drip is a low risk game where you push one button. They are fully functional products and working as intended. When AFP and Drip value goes up, which is what we are doing with all these new products and revenue streams, then the Drip Garden and Piggy Bank will look sexy again to investors. They both pay out only what is put in the contracts by the people in them. What about Uniswap version three BSC soon? This could be another low risk partner to earn yield on too. We already designed the contracts to be able to adjust for other partners. We could have a vote through the community on it eventually. Mini DAO win. This will come with scratchy raise, March to end of April. And you will need the reap and another token, possibly AFP or AFD. What if something happens to Forex? He has plans in place. Marketing would continue since it's done through the marketing company and signed off via original BP. People's funds are not at risk. The project could still move along fine and everything is automated or called by the user. Why no sports book integrations, etc.? He doesn't want to use user funds for this. It's a dirty business. He likes on-chain and fairness. He wants to do morally sound projects for all of DeFi, and he doesn't want to make money that way. He has integrity. However, this does not mean someone in the community could build something. 
He sees great projects out there from the community. Put in your brick, build something. Win auto compound for pig pen BUSD dividends. This is coming with Scratchy. There will be a partner with this, so you can still take part of your BUSD as profit and not have to compound all of your BUSD back into the pig pen. Maybe more additional utilities, more to come. Things to know. Kraken is shutting down staking on behalf of a settlement agreement, which by the way, I off topic here, I did a separate video talking more about this. You guys can check that out. Centralized exchanges or sexes may crack down on staking. This is good for DeFi, decentralized finance. We could take over and benefit greatly since it's not enforceable on DeFi. The SEC rules and FTX, regular Ponzi issues, could affect us positively since we are DeFi and not under USA jurisdiction. We may become one of the only great options left in town to stake. Bullish for us. Marketing. Big marketing push coming via news socials. New TikTok today, interviews, YouTuber videos, banner ads on PooCoin, Dex tools, and Brave browser. New contest on our Animal Farm landing page starts today to drive people through our new social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, etc. Everyone can enter this one. You can win 5,000 USDT. Another contest coming next week that will be paid in AFP slash AFD based on the amount of people who enter the contest. Altcoin Buzz interview coming soon. What's next? There will be a detailed development in the AMA next week, and we may have a date for a product release. Drip UI and on-ramp, one to two weeks to be ready to go in either early March or before March. Those are the main notes, guys, from the last AMA. Again, thank you so much to Wonder Woman for putting those together. Outside of that, I just want to go ahead and let you know that there is a community-based project that a lot of people in the Drip community have been showing support for because it does come back and affects Drip. It's called Droplet. So if you want to check out that, see more details behind that project, there are other videos people have made out there. You can go into the Drip Telegram. And they can also direct you a little bit more in that direction. But that does help out some of the funds that that is generated through the trading volume and the design mechanism of Droplet itself. It does go into buying Drip off the market and then sends that Drip to the tax vault. So that means it helps in being sure that it can continue to supply the demand of the interest rate, right? So people are earning 1% if they stake, it's an optional thing, into the drip faucet, for example. Well, at a certain point, you gotta make sure that there's new capital that's coming in because if you're earning 365%, that's more than 100%, right? That's the whole point, is people are putting it in there so that they can get more back than what they initially put in. And that works with banking too. You have to have new capital come in if you're rewarding people with any degree of an interest rate. You're making more than what you had before. There has to be some set of new funds. It's it just that's how that works, right? So, anyways, with that, Droplet will help purchase some of that drip, send it to the tax vault, which makes sure uh, that the distribution of rewards can keep going out without the necessity of minting new tokens. Drip is unique in the fashion that aside from what you would see with fiat, you can't just print new money unless you're the Federal Reserve, right? But you can't just print new money and give that to people. So if it goes down to zero for what you have in your rewards pool, then your project's just completely dead. But when you're talking about cryptocurrency and you're rewarding people in the form of a crypto that its price fluctuates depending on what's the market standard at the time, then you can be able to continue to do that, right? The value of the token would go down. You would have more circulating supply, uh, more total supply as well because you produce new tokens. So ideally, you want to keep refilling that vault. And again, if you're not familiar with Drip on this stuff, there's videos that are out there. You can learn a lot more. It's multiple things in the Drip ecosystem that feeds the tax vault as it is anyways. But this is just an additional outside means, a separate project that helps contribute towards that. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a backstory behind that. I might end up doing a separate video where I go into more details on Droplet. Let me know if you guys would like me to do that. Tell me down in the comments below. And 
Lastly is that the animal farm, we can see pig tokens at $62.47, dog tokens at $16.47 over on the drip network side, drip hanging at 28 cents. So the market still a lot of questionable things going on right now. The SEC, I talked about that in the cliff notes regarding staking exchanges, cracking the crack down there. We saw some pullback on uh, Bitcoin's price. And of course, it ripples across. We'll see how things continue to move forward. Sounds like there are some opportunities within the next week or two to start seeing some of these deliveries on the drip side, which I'm very excited about. I would like to see these things actually be delivered. Now, I just talked about Let's hope that it does come out soon. But as it is, we have other community-based projects also. Uh, the DDD, that project is sort of like a raffle-based system. And with that, that's a community-based project. And that one, I, I'm actually quite bullish on that. So once I can get some more details, I can highlight on that. That also could be coming out within the next week to two weeks. That is something that when it comes out, I think that's a real opportunity to where we could see Drip in particular, because that's the main focus around that, really start to make a strong run. There could be a lot of buying pressure that comes in as people want to participate in that system. So it's an opportunity where people, like a raffle, you're essentially buying a ticket and you have a chance to get more out of it. But I want to get more details on it before I feel confident in elaborating on it, and I don't want this video to be too long. So same thing, guys, if you're interested in that, let me know down in the comments below. And you guys, I appreciate you so much to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out. Thank you to WeLoveSafeman.com, Victor Vegas, Safeman Oz for being higher level patrons. Thank you to my YouTube members for your support as well. And if you want to pay your bills directly with your cryptocurrency, literally just straight up pay your bills. I did it. I paid for a credit card bill with my BNB. You can use Spritz Finance. And I have a video. I walk you through it. I did it in the video myself with one of my own real bills. You can find that video down in the description. There's a referral link in that video as well. You can get a little bonus if you decide you want to go do it. You can check out more information there. Thank you guys so much. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. God bless, and we will see you in the next episode.